Hi, it's Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. This is the video of the week where we're playing the 5% game. This is where we created a team in game week one and there are several options what you could do. And then each week I'm telling you who you need to put on the bench, who to captain, what subs to make, etc. The idea being there's quite a lot of variety within this team, as in different permutations, and you should finish or we're aiming for you to finish in the top 5% globally, which means you should do well in your mini league. Now I'm thinking we're going to have to wildcard soon. I was originally thinking game week 9, but I may bring that forward. But I've not decided yet, so you need to stay tuned. So when we wildcard, that means anyone who's found this series but hasn't played from the start can jump in at the wildcard point and then play from them up then on, hopefully then finishing in the top 5%. Let's get into it now. We start off by reviewing game week four. So the bankers, we have six bankers. Everyone playing this has got these six. Oh, and I've started color coding. So each player, we want each player each week to get five points, obviously the captain to get 10. The idea being then we get 60 points a week. And if we get 60 points a week, we should comfortably be in the top 5%. So red, as you can see, Cantelo's got there, means he got less than five. Trent, who's got 17, means he got more than five. And if somebody actually gets five, I've made it blue. So Cancelo got one, Trent 17, Jesus one, Martinelli two, Salah three, Haaland 17. We had Salah as captain, so he got six points in total. So those six bankers, the worst only got one point. The best was 17. On average, they got 7.3. So the bankers got 44 points. And there's seven players here, if you count the captain as two players. And then seven fives are 35. 44 is better than 35, so we're green this week for the bankers. That's nice. Goalkeeper, Ramsdale or Mendy, average two and a half. Not a good week. Defender number one, we had Trippier or Walker or Zinchenko or Dunk. Zinchenko was injured and didn't play, which means somebody came off your bench, which I believe would have been Andreas. So on average, these got three points. You may have been lucky in head dunk. On average, three again. That's not good. Defender number two, you either had James or Diaz. Average was only four, so that wasn't so good. Midfielder number one. This is where we have one of these four good midfielders. Diaz got 14 points. Saka, five. Foden, four. Kulisewski, six. So they got an average of 7.3, which is good. We did all right on those. Midfielder number two was Almiron or Bailey. They only got one and a half. Now these were always going to be like our worst player that we're likely to play every week. And at the beginning of the season, we didn't know, we didn't have enough information who was likely to play. Now I think going forward, Bailey has a good chance of being quite good, but he's got three very difficult fixtures coming up, at least three. So we're actually going to be subbing these out, but I'll get to that shortly. So for this week, if you had all the worst possible picks, you would have got 50 points. The average was 62.3, maximum of 77. We only have to hit 60 points a week, so this was an okay week. You should be okay. I'm aware of at least three people that are playing this game at the moment, and I checked their teams earlier today, and two of the three are doing all right and well above average. And by the end of the season, I would expect all of them to be in the top 5%, so we should be okay. So the transfer, as I said, there's Almiron or Bailey. We're going to move them on now because in the short term, their fixtures aren't so good. But they're both, in my opinion, good players. And they're both they're both going to be okay at different points in the season. Whether or not we'll bring them back, I don't know yet. I've not decided. So I'm going to show you five players and their various prices. Now, some of you I know can afford any of these. And I know some of you won't have enough money. I'm not saying go for the most expensive. I'm saying go for whichever one you want to. But two or three of these may be out of the price range for some of you. So Rodrigo for Leeds, he's been doing very well. But when Bamford comes back, his position may change and he may not do quite so well. He's 6.5. Harrison for Leeds is 6.1. Gross, as we tend to say in this country, 5.8. Now, if you decide to go for him, he's from Brighton. You just need to type GRO in the search box if that's how you do it, because we haven't got the asset character, which of course changes the 
sound of it. So rather than gross, it's actually, I think, gross, gross. I can't even say it. Anyway, I, I, I'm aware that the S at the end should extend the vowel sound of the O. Not that any of you care. Anyway, he's 5.8. Aronson of Leeds, 5.5. And Neto, 5.3. Neto is a good player. He's a reasonable chance of getting a return the next couple of games, which are moderately easy. So any of those could be all right the next few weeks. And in any case, this is generally going to be our weakest of our 10 outfield players. So they're all moderately cheap. Now, all we need to do is set the bench. If we set the bench, then the rest of the team sorts itself out. So we have Danny Ward, our goalkeeper on the bench. The third position on the bench, which is the extreme right, as you look at it, the last one will either be Archer or Taylor. And then positions one and two in the middle position, second position, you're going to have Williams or Patterson and Andreas is going to be first on your bench. There's a reasonable chance Andreas will get a return this week. I believe they might be at home to Brighton, but Brighton do have an excellent defence. But if Fulham managed to breach that defence, Andreas may be involved. However, your other 10 outfield players, I believe, have a reasonable chance of outscoring Andreas, which is why we've got him only on the bench. Regarding captain, two best players this week are likely to be Salah and Haaland. Now, Haaland may well get rested, but even if he only comes on for 20 minutes, he could still cause a lot of problems. So I'm suggesting we put the big floppy mule hat on Haaland this week, which means the wee little bonnet goes on Salah. And doesn't he look cute with that? So Salah, I'm suggesting you set as vice captain and Haaland as captain. I've just seen my hat's not quite right. Is that better? I could wear it like Haaland. There we go. That's how Haaland likes to wear it, something like that. So I hope that was a little bit useful. Uh, thank you to everyone who is playing this 5% thing. And let's hope you all manage to get in the top 5%. As I said, I intend to play the wild card in the next few weeks, which means other people can hop on at that point. All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I should have said, don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already. But it's up to you, obviously. If you got this far, then well done. You might as well give it a like. Thanks. Bye.